All right, guys, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get into the install the user cab section right here to make sure you get that done correctly. There are, I think, seven user cabs. The first one is in Bonus Bank. It's in the Jimmy London presets. So you just have to pick one of them. There are several of them. See that? Um, and all you got to do, there's a lot of ways to load these, okay? But the simplest way, and you're going to see it when you come on, when it comes in, it's going to show up. And on yours, it's going to say empty there, probably, because I've already loaded it in my user one. See that? So we're going to go over here just to demonstrate it. This M means this is muted. I'm going to take the mute off. This S means to solo it. So you only hear that cab no matter what the others are on, unless another one's soloed. So it says empty. If you go over here and you literally grab the file and haul it on top of that name, that space, and let go of it, it'll write it and save it, and you're done. How cool is that? That makes it super easy to do this. So let's go to the other maker section. Cooper Carter did an amazing John Petrucci preset, but we only use factory cabs for that one. Um, Brett Kingman only used factory cabs. Leon Todd did version. And then Leon did one with the user cab. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in there. And right now, if you tried to play it, if you didn't have it loaded in user 45, you see that user 145. If there's nothing there, you wouldn't have any sound. But I go to Leon Todd, go to 45, right? And then I grab it and I put it, ah, fa. You got to click that amp. You got to move it pretty quick. So sorry about that. It'll clap out. So go here, let go, boom, and it writes it in there. So that's Leon's, and that one's done. So now let's go to Freeman has an all-in-one user cabs, and I think he uses a lot of user cabs in this, not just one. So we're going to have to go through every scene on Freeman's to see what he uses. So here's the first one. He's got a Freeman clean. So we have to go in here. We go to U1, and we drag it. That'll be empty in yours, but that's supposed to be a clean preset because it's got 46, right? For Freeman's clean. See, it says IR46, so you know which one to load. So we go to number two, and we don't, and it says uh, that cab went away because it's not being used, so don't worry about that right now. We go to number three. Sorry to overcomplicate it. Fender IR, we just loaded that, so that's there. We go to scene number four. Ah, Morgan AC20. On yours, it's going to be blank because you haven't loaded that. So we go over here. We go to Morgan Freeman 20. We drag it over, and it writes it over it. So now we can hear that, that scene. You see how we're doing this? We have to load it in the very specific cabs because the cabs are changing by scene. So here's a Meso Recto Freeman uh, IR that he gave us. Thank you, uh, Freeman. So then we go over here, and we grab that, drop it. And that's copied. All right, now we go to this one. And I think there's already, it's the same recto we just loaded, so you don't have to do it again. It's already there. It'll show up now instead of saying empty. And the last one is Freeman's Acoustic Simulator. So that's here. So we grab that and we put that in there again. Yours is going to say empty, but this tells you where to put the user IR slot for the acoustic. So the name helps a little bit, guide you there. The last one we have to do is York Audio. 8 amp and here's that one and we just grab that one so you get the concept if it doesn't take just try it again it'll work and you know if you go there it'll it'll show up you you can always hit this refresh thing it works for cabs as well as um, uh, presets just to make sure the name will show up now that's going to take a while because there's a lot of cats but there you go um, so these presets are pretty cool. These are just some Larry Mitchell just gave me a new one in this uh, edition Version 11 that's very nice for slides. It's worth just taking a look at it Got a plexi a clean some very cool cool sounds. You should check that out. Excuse me So these are very cool presets Cooper's got a great John Petrucci and he's worked with uh, John Petrucci so you might want to check out the Cooper stuff here, but again, these are just little bonuses. I wanted to have you, you guys to have a flavor of other people's presets, people I respect um, that I've worked with that wanted to participate in this. So, so that's how you load those cabs. Now, the other way to do it is you can use something called Axe Manage Cabs. It just takes longer. It's a similar kind of browser show high deal. 
And this is where you would literally point your browser towards where you've put the uh, cab pack stuff that I've been working with. So here we go. So they'll show up here. They're all grayed out when you first point to them. That's okay. You click open and it'll find all seven. You click OK. And now you can pull these in just like we did with presets into the slots that they are required to go in. So what's nice about this is that, you know, I just take uh, these and I'll just put them in the slots. But again, I have to have the um, what's nice about this is this version tells you what slot it goes where the actual cab name does not. And that's confusing. So I know the Acoustic Freeman thing goes in Acoustic 49, which is right here. So I can come here and grab Acoustic Freeman and drag it into 49 because I'm looking at this. And again, it's not saved. I have to save it to make it happen there. But again, that's the harder way. I showed you the easier way, but I just wanted you to understand that's a little bit of how cab manage works. So hopefully that's helpful. Now we're going to go to a new video about foot switches.